welcome back. It's Danny. Uh, I, <laughs> I cut my hair again. Um, it's the Sunday after school ended. Um, and I'm not quite ready to say that I'm done with first year just because I have one more assignment to go that I'm gonna work on tonight so I can hand it in tomorrow before grades are due on Tuesday. I've done my best to keep up with everything that I could in order for me to be okay. So everything from um, s staying healthy, uh, sleeping the right hours, um, eating enough of the things that I need, uh, spending time with the people that I care about, uh, working on assignments so I don't, um, what's the word, I don't fall behind, which I sort of did. Um, but no, you know, like, in the end, I feel like I did my best and I don't want to be cheesy, but it's gonna happen. That's all I could do for now. So, at least I did my best and, um, and things worked out in, uh, in the way that they work out, you know, relatively. But, anyways, yeah, I've been sleeping well, um, I've been working on assignments, I've been sort of, I've been helping out with a couple of fourth year films, uh, with uh, coloring and, and some Photoshop work, um, which I'm, I was really happy to, um, to help on just because the people who are graduating this year, the, the fourth years, are the people who were first year with me, um, four years ago when I started my Sheridan journey. So after the, after you come in into the program, sort of for any program, um, it's all like sort of fun and games and you're like having fun and it's, you know, like, uh, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like the beginning of any series. It's like silly, it's funny, it's engaging. And then like once you get into the heavy stuff, like, like it just becomes real. And it's like, yes, this is the next like three years of our lives like in the animation program but like after that like like we go on onwards and work on stuff and like I mean hopefully we all become part of it and it's this like bigger sort of world even bigger than like we think it is initially <sighs> and and we're like a family and I think after we started becoming closer, it just clicked to me that I was at the right place, at the right time. Even though for a couple of weeks at the beginning of the year, and even last year, I was like, man, like I wish I got in a, in a year sooner, or like two years sooner, or four years sooner, so I could have been graduating with the people I met four years ago. Um, but I think... I mean, I take all of that back because I know I'm in the right place at the right time. And I honestly, even though there's so many things happening and, and things are changing, I think I wouldn't have it any other way. For anyone who applied to Sheridan this, this, last, this last time people were applying, not too long ago, like two or three months ago, um, and and I apologize for not uploading a video like around that time. If it was really hard for you, you know, receiving the news of of probably not getting into the program or, you know, things. Um, I I understand. I mean, not fully, but like I relatively get. Um, being upset and like being rejected like kind of really hurts it hurts a lot and especially when it's something that you're so passionate about and when it's something that you you want to do for you all your whole life and so like maybe it's your first time that you're rejected maybe it's the second time maybe it's the third time and you feel like you shouldn't even apply again because you don't deserve it because you're not good enough because you're you know things
the second rejection after coming here, the one after Visual Creative Arts, I think was the hardest one. Just because not only did I get rejected by Sheridan for the third time, but I got an even lower score than the time before. And that f fucking destroyed me because I, I thought I'd gotten better at drawing. I thought um, my characters were more, more solid. I thought um, I had a better understanding for layout. I, I thought I, you know, I thought I had it. And then even when I started industrial design, um, I just couldn't, I, I, I just couldn't move on. Like, I was just, like, looking, I, like, constantly looking at the animation wing or, like, at the general direction of it because it's a different building. And I'd be, like, you know, like, staring at it with, like, longing eyes and wanting it, like, so bad. And I was, like, fuck, like, now that I've applied three times, like, there's no way that I'm not gonna, like, apply until I get in. Like, I, I need to, like, I... I need to be there and I'm stubborn and like fuck I'm gonna get it so I'm but also I can't just ignore what I'm experiencing right now just take your time and I mean realistically nothing stopping you from doing what you want to do so if In the end, what you want to do is share it in animation or whatever program you want to get into. Then, I don't know, that's not really what you want to do. What you want to do is the things that happen in the program. And realistically speaking, and in a, a really like vague, subjective way, you can. If you're interested in story... Um, watch a lot of films, read a lot of books, um, read a lot of, like, ki like children's books. Those are great. Like, Shell Silverstein and uh, Rubber Munch and, like, all, all these, like, like, good, like, solid books, children's books, <laughs> are great. If you want to be a character designer, look at, like, go back to design and look at shapes and look at line and look at all these like principles of design and like elements of design that will like make your design solid and then look at volume and and if you want to don't want to focus on volume then look at shapes again and go do a more graphic style kind of thing i mean again i'm not telling you what to do i'm just suggesting these are all suggestions if you want to be a layout artist and look a lot of layouts. What are they doing? Think of a layout not as a background but as a stage. And it's different because in a stage things happen. A background is just this like flat thing. And it's it's not that, it's not this, it's like a stage. It has so many things, so many elements, and a character or objects like move in it. And in a background it it doesn't. Like it's not I hope it's understandable. If you want to be an animator, um, act a lot. Look at any acting, any any animation, any film, anything, they have good acting and what makes it believable is knowing what things actually look like, things and how things actually act like. So a lot of observation, you know, is a thing. Um, Painting, I can't really give advice about painting because I'm not good at it. Not saying that I'm good at anything that I've talked about, but with painting, it just comes with practice from my experience, and I'm still not good at it. So, you know, there's master painters from uh, a long time ago, like Michelangelo and Leonardo, and those are great. I mean, look at what you like, and then try doing master studies, and then... Try to see if you can learn what they did and then do it and apply it to your stuff. I'm still on that and I'm still on everything else that I've talked about, but um, yeah. Just feel whatever you're feeling and then try to lift your head up, stand up, and keep going. Because I'm, I, I mean, I did it. Things are what they are, and 
whatever happens, I'll keep standing up because I, I know where I want to be. And I mean, there's no guarantee that it's going to happen, realistically speaking, but I'm going to try and I'm really stubborn and decisive or, the, you know, like, persistent. And, and I'm not going to let myself stop me. But I'm also going to be kind and nice to myself. If you really want to do something in life, go for it. I remember when I was younger and I mean, I would watch Disney's films like forever, forever. I would just, you know, I have VHSs and I would play one and then I would like rewind it right away because I, I needed to play it like right after it and the the same one and like just go on and on. And I still have like my collection of VHSs somewhat. I've always liked them and I mean, I think when I began to sort of think about what I wanted to do later in life, I, I think like on Tumblr or something, then I looked at this like beautiful illustrations and this beautiful like work and this, you know, like style and design and things. And I, I just really enjoyed it, but I, I don't know why I just really did. And I, um, I thought to myself like, man, like it'd be, be really nice to do things like that and then I was like but things like that I won't do because I'm it's so ridiculous like it's so out there it's so extra like I'm not gonna be able to do that sort of thing ever in my life ever never ever and finding it here and sort of doing the things that I I told myself that I couldn't do years ago is kind of kind of amazing. <laughs> I mean, I know I do silly things like, you know, like, like this. There we go. Um, and it's, you know, two lines and then you call it a drawing. But I mean, it's, it's my drawing and I, I like, I did it and it's, it's not something I thought I could do before. You know, it's just this amazing sort of thing that like, is is out there and, and and I just really wanted to be part of it so I'm I'm part of it now I mean I'm I'm you know at the very bottom being like I am an artist and like I want to be a storyteller and and I yeah. you know like I'm small and I I'm just starting but but I mean there's hopefully there's years to go and I. I know I'm gonna leave this earth at some point and I I just would love to have done things that I like that I like really wanted to do. And I mean there's still time so I'm gonna do them. And so if you have an idea of anything, and you don't have to share it with me or, or anyone, but like if you have something that you want it to be out there then then I mean the best way to to, to have it out there is, is through you. And I have so many stories that I'm like, man, like I wish, I wish I had that when I was a kid. And like, I just, I mean, I don't, I don't want to be like, oh, I want to put it out there so other kids like have it. No, like I want to put it out there so I can look at it and be like, yeah, like I like this editing and like, this is mine. And like, yeah, just, just like I imagined it. I mean, it's not going to get out any other way. So I'm, I want to do it. <laughs> I made this little puppet for my last character design assignment um, and he's really cute. I mean you can see he's like a little cardboard box and has little glasses that you can take off and, oh, and a little hat with a little egg on it. Oh, you can't see it, there, an egg. Uh, and you can move the arms and stuff. Um, and the shoes, and like, it's a pretty, like, solidly, um, standable character, so that's, you know, always nice. I'll put a picture here. <sighs> so more stuff like that I want to do. I really enjoy making stuff. Oh my god, so I had, um, 
yesterday I had open house. Uh, I was given my tour and I was walking by the art pit and this girl's like, like, hi, like, like, are you, are you the Danny Duels? And I was like, yeah, like, like, yeah, that's me. And then she was like, oh my God. And then she was like freaking out. And then I was freaking out because she was freaking out. And I was like, oh, anyways, um, she was saying how like she really appreciates the videos because like it really like sort of kept her sane when she was working on her portfolio and etc. And, and I was, I was kind of like really happy and really glad and I'm, um, you know, I make this videos because I just want to share my experience and like if people want to tune in like they do and, and I appreciate that they do just because I don't want to seem like this crazy person that just talks to like, you know, a laptop for like years on end. Like right now I have, I have 51 minutes that I'll probably edit down, but you know, like, like, it's nice. <laughs> That's all. It's nice that people listen. It's nice people um, want to have a conversation. It's nice that people, you know, want to be part of something that's big. That I'm not saying like Danny Talks is big, but just like this whole like amazing experience of finding yourself and like talking about it. And like that's pretty much what this is. Like I'm finding myself and like being like, yeah, like I'm, yeah, and then and then talking about it and it's and it's. It's fun, you know, it's, it's, like, it's like a time. And I appreciate people watching these videos and I appreciate people talking about these videos with me or, you know, in the comments or whatever. Um, it's it's always really nice. I, you know, I, I never thought I was gonna get like any views other than like my mom and my dog. Um, but I guess um, I did. And I mean, it's not like five billion b views, but like even like, one person other than my mom and my dog is like pretty amazing and I I appreciate it and thank you so much for sticking around even though I'm filming with my laptop and I um I'm, I'm gonna get a camera this summer I promise and and anyways um so I'm a quarter of a way for Sheridan animation and it's kind of, I was thinking about it and I was, I was writing on my sketchbook and I wrote the date like, oh, it's April, like, I think it was the 20th, uh, 2017. And I was like, man, like, like, I wouldn't have guessed 10 years ago or whatever, um, that I w would be here, like, and so that, that made me think like, fuck, like right now, like I, Ten, I, right now I'm thinking about like how 10 years ago I wouldn't I didn't know that I was gonna be here like 10 years later and now I'm like holy shit like how many things more are gonna happen like 10 years from now and even 20 or 30 like and onwards so if you're interested in knowing what happens to me in the next three years and onwards I'll keep making videos so um so if you want to watch it and if you if you don't then that's fine um and i said that like super brutally but uh if you don't that's fine and you know whatever um but yeah